Hey guys, so today I want to talk about two cards for MTG Finance, not just one. I will talk about Jace. Jace right now is trading around $70. $70 is a lot for a Mythic. Um, I cannot remember the last time I saw, saw a Mythic at $70 hold its price. And so Jace will be the first Mythic I talk about. And then the next Mythic would be Dragon Lord or Jute. Dragon Lord or Jute actually is the has gone up higher in price as a percentage and as a amount of money. Uh, Jace at $70 is a tremendously interesting card. I look at it and I say to myself, I don't remember the last time a card has held this price point for this long, especially given the fact that we're in a modern age and that fat packs of Magic Origins can sell online for $30, $28 or less. You can get Magic Origin fat packs for extremely extremely little amount of money. So I don't know, it is uh, very, very uh, interesting to me. I have I don't expect this price to hold, but every time that someone says this price will drop, it just goes up a tiny bit more. So it's gone up $7 this week to hit $70, which is truly incredible. Uh, but it is a card that deserves to be, if anything else, it deserves to be the most expensive card in standard right now. It sees a tremendous amount of play. It is an incredibly powerful card. And when you look at the pre-release video I made before talking about it, a lot of people did not believe it was that good. It really reminded me of a Snapcaster Mage on the flip side and a Looter on the front side. That combination in blue, assuming that the meta was correct and the meta is correct for this card, you're looking at the sky is the limit. The sky is honestly the limit of this protect of this card, and it has already hit. It's already broken what I expected a mythic could possibly hold its value at. Now, the next card we're going to talk about is Dragon Lord Jute, who went up to twenty five dollars. Uh, it went up eight or nine dollars recently, which is a tremendous amount of money for a mythic, and it's a very strong mythic. Esper Dragons was going to be a deck. That was always going to be a deck. Um, you have abs in, but unfortunately, a lot of, or fortunately, a lot of the abs on pieces were reprinted and extremely cheap. Like abs in, uh, the siege rhino being the, like it's still like three to four dollars, maybe, maybe less, two dollars. But rhino is that deck. That whole kind of deck uh, got reprinted. Even the wind swept heath got reprinted. So when you talk about cards that people like to play or pros like to play they like blue they like blue white they love esper if no other cards came in the set and just the land the i'm going to call them the battle land the battle land came in the set that's like a huge bonus for these esper players because they're like oh well you know tricolor is not as difficult anymore and i really need these tricolors i need the blue on time i need the white on time i need the black on time so for them, a lot of these black cards are double black. A lot of these, you know, multi, obviously when you look at Asper as a archetype, uh, you're pretty much a control deck and control wants mana fixing and it wants all of its colors and it wants to be able to respond. So Dragon Lord Ujute, Ujutai, whatever his name is, fascinating card. That's the one I'm primarily interested in. That's the card I look at and I say to myself, if you were able to predict that card, and leave me a comment if you could or you couldn't, why, why you didn't think that card was gonna be good. If you could predict that card, at least this week, that would have been where I would have put the money in. Um, I, I think it's a really strong card. A lot of people are saying languish, languish, languish. Um, but at the end of the day, it has the control. It has a control feel. That being said, I will introduce another card, and I don't know the current price of the card, but I'm guessing, I would guess the card is like five or six dollars. Uh, the card, maybe eight dollars, maybe less. Narset. Narset came up, the only time I've seen Narset in a tier one deck list was uh, Kenji's Gauntlet, and it looked good in that. Um, it looked very, very good next to Dragon Lord Ujute. It looked very powerful. I think that type of deck could be viable. Uh, again, it the Jace. The reason Jace is seventy dollars. The meta 
fit him perfectly. He fit in every deck that the meta was trying to run. And he did everything that you needed to do. He provided um, removal by flashing it back. He looted. He filled up your graveyard. He did everything you wanted a two drop to do and more. Narset has been very disappointing. Um, she is extremely, extremely low right now. And I'll have you know, a price graph and you can see at what price she's at. But as a speculation, that interests me because at one point in time, people were very high on Narset. She was a $40 Planeswalker at one time. You don't fall from 40 to five or six or whatever she's at right now and not rise back up a tiny bit. And I don't know, we will see because Narset reminds me a lot of Jace AOT. Jace Architect, uh, before the reprinting, a lot of people say, oh, he's, his card went down in price because people were hyping. No, that's not what happened. They reprinted him in a dual deck. That's why he went down in price. But he was a very cheap Planeswalker, like Narset, and then the meta made him playable. Because not because he got better, it's because the cards around him got better. And then he was playable, and he was a $25 card at one time. Narset is not going to be Jace, so he'll never break 25 but can I see her climbing to 15? Can I see her doubling in price? Maybe even, uh, depending on what she is right now, tripling in price? In the correct meta, yes, I can see her. And I don't mind taking a flyer on her because how much lower can she possibly get? Plus, uh, remember the rotation will be cons of Tarkir. Uh, it will be this set, and it will be Fate Reforge. So Dragons and M15 uh, uh, Origins they will rotate together. So dragons will get a ability to shine without cons and fate. And that is why um, when you look at Narset, it's interesting. It's very interesting as a speculation. I wouldn't say buy too many of her. I would just say if you want to try the deck out, you know, buy a playset. Um, she's, in my opinion, even if she goes lower, like where can she really go? She's not Tibble, right? Anyway, bye guys.